Does a 25% average rate of return sound impressive? Well, let's look a little closer at it. Let's say that you invested $100, and at the end of the first year, you have $200, an impressive 100% gain. But let's see at the end of the second year, the market has dropped 50%, so you're back to the $100. That 25% average rate of return earns you nothing. You're still holding on to the same $100. Now, this may sound a little out there, but the point is that average rate of return is not important. When you buy and sell, that's important. See, with the balance zone system, you'd have to look at the fact that at the end of the first year, your $200 has doubled your investment, but it's also doubled your risk. And your balance zone scale would be tilting to the risk side, signaling you to sell. You probably would sell some of that money, and at the end of the second year, you wouldn't have lost so much because you sold high. I tell you what, don't trust me. Go to the website and run a few scenarios in the Balance Zone Skill Builder and your jaw is going to drop.